Hello and welcome to this episode of Dread Captures, the ultimate destination for those who seek the thrill of witnessing the unexplained. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the most compelling and jaw-dropping camera footage we can find. Trail camera security cameras and other recording devices can capture events that occur when no one is around. We have gathered trail camera footage of wild animals, cryptids, paranormal activity, mysterious creatures lurking in the shadows and strange phenomena that defy explanation, we have it all. Our team of experts scours the internet and beyond to bring you the latest and greatest in the world of wildlife and the unknown. So whether you're a seasoned cryptozoologist, a veteran outdoorsman, or just a curious viewer, buckle up and get ready for an adventure like no other. Now, let's get into the captures. Justin Fender is your everyday content creator on TikTok, sharing his car, bike, and family stories with the world. All seemed pretty ordinary until one fateful day when things took a spine-tingling turn. You see, Justin posted a TikTok video showcasing how to install reverse lights on his car, which seems harmless enough, but here's where it gets eerie. One curious viewer popped up, asking just how bright those reverse lights could actually get. Now, most folks would simply brush it off with a laugh, but not our guy Justin. Oh no, he was determined to show his viewers exactly how powerful these bad boys were. During the dead of night, Justin ventures out into the woods with his trusty camera in the pitch black forest. Just him, his car, and the looming darkness. Determined to make a video for the people. But what he captured in that footage would leave him and his viewers questioning everything. As he flipped on those reverse lights, a chilling sight unfolded right before our eyes. Right there, wrapped around a tree, a pale bony arm emerged into the dim glow of the lights. And slowly, it slithered out of sight. I mean, can you imagine the shock and adrenaline that washed over Justin's audience as they saw this eerie encounter? The incident spooked Justin and his followers, naturally. And once Justin finally saw the arm in the video, he decided to investigate. But even in the daylight, the forest had an ominous aura. Let's see what he found. Well, he did his best to rationalize it away, claiming it could be a random person, a homeless wanderer, or a hobo seeking refuge in the woods. What do you guys think? Could this really just be a mere mortal seeking shelter in the wilderness? Or was something far more paranormal at play? I not only want, but I need to hear your guys' thoughts on this. Is it an alien reaching out from the other side, trying to make its presence known? The video evidence is showing one thing, but it's still hard for the human mind to rationalize it. My first initial thought of this is that this guy seems and feels super believable. He comes off as genuine. He was so engrossed and excited about these taillights, and he's not acting over the top about this instance. Maybe he's a great actor, and in that case, bravo to Justin. However, it looks like he didn't even notice this creepy arm until roughly a month later. I don't know what's real, but this feels pretty real. This is Terrence Leono a YouTuber who finds solace in the woods, capturing his soulful singing for all to enjoy. Sounds like a nice hobby, right? But one fateful day, things took a turn that'll have you questioning every shadow in the forest. As Terrence was live streaming his usual woodland serenade, a curious deer found its way into the scene. As the deer stood there seemingly intrigued by Terrence's soft voice, Something else lurked in the darkness. Pretty sure he was looking for where the sound was coming from, but I stopped and started talking and now he's confused. All right. Pay close attention because you can spot not one, but two eerie figures lurking among the trees. 
a slim figure in a shadowy presence peering out from the woods just beyond the deer. Terence's viewers were left in awe and terror, speculating about the identity of these ominous figures. The theory started pouring in like rain on a stormy night. Could they be skinwalkers? Those elusive and shape-shifting beings from native folklore? Or perhaps cryptids? The creatures of the unknown that walk the line between myth and reality? Whatever they were, one thing was certain. There was something eerie going on in those woods. In this eerie footage, we see this brave guy ventures into the mysterious waters of Malaysia. But hold on tight because this isn't your average river stroll. As he takes off his shoes, terror strikes. Several leeches have latched onto his feet, adding to the strangeness of this video. But that's just the beginning of this haunting tale. With nerves of steel, he raises his camera to capture what lies ahead. And what he captures has definitely left me guessing. Sitting inside the waterfall is a girl, her dark black hair cascading around her. But here's the eerie part. There's no source for this video. We're left pondering, unable to really tell whether it's real, edited, or a mere fake. Could it be a genuine encounter with the supernatural? Or are we just witnessing an expertly crafted illusion? I actually covered this crazy eyewitness account a few days after the event. When that happened, the only thing I can see in the backyard is a tall creature. A user on TikTok going by the handle Streets of Heaven or Gold uploaded a video and it captured the attention of many online. He was detailing a string of strange events that transpired in his community. His story, spanning just over seven minutes, provides his perspective on what took place on May 1st, 2023. He and his brother were enjoying a quiet evening in their Las Vegas backyard, right around midnight. Suddenly, a peculiar noise sounded from the sky above them. As they turned to look, they saw a brilliant light plummeting earthward. Before they could even react, there was a powerful crash as whatever it was hit the ground. But it didn't end there. The two brothers then began hearing footsteps surrounding them. The footsteps around me. In the darkness, a tall figure measuring somewhere between 8 to 10 feet and with a remarkably lean structure emerged. Without missing a beat, the TikTok user rushed to get their father, who, to their shock, also witnessed this intimidating being. Their dad's immediate reaction was to usher them inside. And it was during this commotion that they managed to record the video. Though the figure is somewhat obscured in the video, the uploader swears it's there. He later adds another twist to the story, claiming that when he went to grab some tools, he came face to face with another similar entity. This creature, he says, had a sizable face and a tall, thin frame, displaying a greenish-gray hue. He felt paralyzed, comparing the sensation to sleep paralysis. It was a tall, skinny, lengthy creature. He was a gray, greenish color. And when I looked at it in the eyes, my body just froze. Like the same way, the same experience as having sleep paralysis. Keep in mind, I'm staring at him and I look at his whole body and he has a weird looking feet and a big face and eyes and you can see a big mouth. However, a few heart pounding moments later, he regained control and sprinted back to safety. Following this, they called 911. Eight foot person beside it, and another one's inside, and it has big eyes and looking at us, and it's still there. Okay, where is this on your property? Uh, uh, in my backyard. I swear to God, this is not a joke. This is actually we so just two, terrified of it. So there's two people or two okay. subjects that are in your backyard? Correct, and they're very large. Big eyes, they have big eyes, okay. like, like I can't explain it, and big eye mouth. They're shiny eyes, and, and they're not human. They're 100% they're not human. As they anxiously waited, sounds resembling footsteps echoed from their roof. The responding officers listened intently to the TikToker's account. You see? It was like a, it was like a, it was 
like a big creature. A big creature? Yeah, like a long testy top. I'm not going to BS you guys. One of my partners said they saw something fall out of the sky too, so that's yeah. why I'm kind of curious. Did you see anything land in your backyard? Or? They see like a big, that's what they say. They see like a big, uh, like a big something with light. What I saw right now, I do believe. In a twist, one officer even mentioned his partner had seen something plummet from the sky earlier that evening, captured on their body cam. The officers inspected the backyard, finding a perfectly round imprint in the soil. On their way out, one of the officers jokingly told the family, if those nine foot beings show up again, don't bother calling us. If those beings come back, don't call us, all right? Deal with it yourself. <laughs> that, I ain't dealing with that. <laughs> Handle it yourselves. Once alone, the family sought comfort in prayer. But then a chilling scream eerily human-like emanated from their backyard like scream in the backyard this is where the tiktok video cuts off with a promise of a second part to come but oddly it appears the user has since deleted his account many skeptics speculate this was a ploy for attention and online fame however the story does have elements backed by the police and curiously the tiktoker has vanished from the platform Let's shift our focus to something that is as equally captivating. Have you seen this footage yet? It shows a magnificent animal darting across the camera's view. Its movements so quick they're almost a blur. This creature's agility and speed are pretty impressive. Observing its remarkable size and the rich color of its fur, it's hard not to be amazed by what nature has to offer. Now you might be thinking, could it be a bear? But in my opinion, bears don't usually move the way this creature does. And while we might consider apes like chimps or gorillas, they generally don't walk on their hind limbs in the way this creature seems to. That leads us to an intriguing possibility. Could this be footage of the elusive creature known as Bigfoot? However, there's an unusual detail in the footage that we can't ignore. The creature seems smaller than the typical depictions we've seen of Bigfoot. Could it be a young Bigfoot, perhaps still growing into its legendary size? My team and I find this possibility to be quite compelling. But what do you think? Could this be a juvenile Bigfoot? Or is there another explanation that we're missing? We'd love to hear your thoughts, so share them in the comments below. In our upcoming segment, we have footage showcasing what some believe to be an actual fairy captured on camera in England. A man was recording his children as they played in the garden when he noticed an unusual creature that seemed like an insect on a nearby tree. Some there, and some but there. There. most of them are on the floor. And have oh, yeah. Holes and What's that? Yeah. What's oh, what? Yeah, look. What's what? Yeah. Yeah, look. Why up there? Insect or something. Is that an insect? Let's have a look. What is it? I don't know. Oh my god! Oh. When he approached for a better look, he was in for quite the surprise. Upon reviewing the slowed footage, this flying entity seems to display leg-like structures and a somewhat human-like shape. Could this be an unfamiliar insect species? A genuine fairy? Or just a meticulously crafted fake? I'm leaning towards CGI, but I'd love to hear your opinion. This intriguing video was shot in Amesbury, located in Wiltshire, England. What it captures is nothing short of fascinating. Four lights shimmering at a distance. But within moments, one of these lights fades and disappears. The person holding the camera quickly zooms in, trying to get a closer view. As the lens focuses, the central light starts to flicker. And then, just like the first, it vanishes. The camera person readjusts, trying to get a clearer shot, but out of the blue, a third light blinks out, faster than the first two. And sure enough, a few seconds later, the fourth and final light fades away. 
Though the video might give some a supernatural vibe initially, there's speculation about a more mundane explanation. Some viewers have pointed out that these lights could be flares. One person even noted that there was an aerial show in Amesbury around the same time the footage was taken. England has a rich history of UFO sightings that have piqued the interest of researchers, UFO enthusiasts, and the general public alike. For hundreds of years, tales of mysterious flying objects have captured imaginations, stirring speculation about life beyond our planet. Reports have come from every corner of the country, detailing inexplicable aerial occurrences. Some describe unknown objects with strange flight behaviors, while others speak of their incredible speed and agility. Incidents range from the widely known Rendlesham Forest episode in 1980, which some refer to as Britain's answer to Roswell, to more contemporary accounts by everyday people, and even trained pilots. Yet despite thorough examinations by both scientists and UFO experts, many of these unusual sightings remain unexplained. This only fuels discussions and debates about potential visits from extraterrestrial beings and the pressing need for open investigations. Nevertheless, it's important to note that the British government, along with many others globally, generally remain skeptical about the idea of alien UFOs. Most of the sightings are often chalked up to mistaken identities of familiar terrestrial objects or events. From the shores of Cornwall, England, in November 2020, a luminous sphere dashes in view, hovering momentarily. It then shoots straight upwards, disappearing from sight. Let's take another look. It slows down abruptly, then soars vertically. The object seems to ascend almost 3,000 feet in just about a second. Anthropologist Michael Masters shares an intriguing perspective on this vehicle. Maybe they're us. Maybe they're coming from the future to examine their own hominin evolutionary past. Masters proposes that if humans from the future possess the ability to traverse time and visit their past, they might equally have the technology to design vessels capable of such astounding feats. Are you getting the video? Uh-huh. It's crazy. I was listening to it the whole way up here. I mean, we are literally like him. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting this. Whoa. Oh, my God. This is just an insane video. Miraculously, everyone was okay except for some minor cuts and bruises. I've never been in a tornado, and I would really, really have to fight the urge to watch one, but I definitely know to not stand in front of that glass door. Also, I feel like there were many signs for them to seek shelter. But especially when those bluish lights flashed indicating the wind had taken out some electricity poles or ripped something off its base. Nevertheless, amazing camera capture and I'm grateful and astounded that everyone was okay. Check out this crazy capture that shows some type of strange creature flying through the air. I'm very interested in where you guys think this creature could have come from. What's even more interesting is that this, it seems out of place. Normally we see forest animals or strange beings on trail cameras. This appears to be a gigantic lizard. Now of course we all know that large lizards do exist but the one we're looking at might be a species we've never seen before. Usually lizards don't jump. 
And even if they did, it's hard to imagine them reaching the height we see in the footage. The person who shared this amazing video thinks we might be looking at a new species of meat-eating lizards. If that's true, this would be an incredible discovery. Do you think this creature might have some connection to underwater life? It seems to have some features that remind me of a fish. I have to say, as someone who loves exploring and learning about new creatures, this footage has piqued my curiosity. The idea that we might be looking at something entirely new is both thrilling and a little bit scary. When I first saw this image, I felt a sense of intrigue. But there's also a small voice inside me saying that this might be too incredible to be true. So what do you all think? What's your take on this capture? In this next clip, we found something really interesting. A creature that looks like a bear but has a strange stripe of hair on its back. Even after checking the internet and using all the ways we know to identify it, we're still not sure what it is. Some online Google searches first thought it was a type of bear called a cinnamon bear. But the unique hair on its back doesn't match any bear we know about. So we're left with a mystery. Is this just a known animal with some different features? Or is it a completely new creature that has got local people talking? Another puzzle is where it comes from because the person who shared its picture hasn't told us. With all these questions, I'm curious about what you think. What do you believe this creature is? I stumbled upon this clip while researching for this video. As you can see, a pack of wild dogs has pinned these goats to the literal side of a boulder. And I apologize, I don't know the actual name of the goats, but wow are they impressive. Their hooves allow them to cling to the rock in a way that puts them just out of harm's way of the dogs. I mean, this might possibly be the definition of so close, yet so far away. These goats are stoic as they calmly wait out the hungry dogs. The dogs are absolutely thwarted. They come from every angle, just trying to get close enough to grab a piece of one of them. The internet loved the video, and there were some good comments such as, When things seem really bad, don't panic. Stick to the plan, hold your ground, and trust yourself. Lesson learned. Stay calm in every situation is a win-win in life. Sometimes the most dangerous place is also the safest place. Nevertheless, what an amazing skill and adaptation these goats have. A homeowner recently shared some unsettling security footage. In the video, a woman can be seen wandering around the property, looking lost and disoriented. She moves without purpose, wandering aimlessly for several minutes seemingly unsure of where she's headed. It's important to note that Rainey's property isn't just any regular plot of land. It's nestled in a remote mountainous area, far removed from neighboring homes and major thoroughfares. On the night the footage was taken, the weather was particularly cold. It's puzzling to think why anyone would choose to wander around in such inhospitable conditions. In another segment of the video, the woman is seen clutching her arm either because of an injury or perhaps as a protective gesture. Strangely enough, she doesn't appear to be seeking help. She doesn't call out to anyone or knock on any doors, despite seeming distressed. Rainey, puzzled and concerned, decided to share the video online. The hope is that someone might recognize the woman or shed light on the mysterious situation. After all, it's not every day you see someone wandering aimlessly on a cold night in a remote area especially without seeking assistance. Let me know what you guys think about this. At first I thought it was going to be more sinister. Now I'm leaning towards someone that might have had a few too many cocktails. In a video shared by a man named Roger, we get a glimpse of his day spent gardening. It started as just another ordinary day, but in a twist of events, it took a turn that could have had serious consequences. Roger is seen suddenly falling to the ground, seemingly without any clear cause. 
But is that really the full story? If you pay close attention to the rock next to Roger's foot, you'll notice something peculiar. Just as Roger is about to take a step, the rock shifts on its own, seemingly without any external force. It's almost as if something invisible nudged it. This unexpected movement led to Roger's unfortunate fall and subsequent injury. Many viewers have put forth theories to explain the mysterious movement of the rock. Some suggest it might have been caused by a string attached to Roger's shoe, pulling the rock out from under him. However, this theory was promptly refuted by the person who uploaded the video. Another theory that has gained traction is a more supernatural one. Some believe that a poltergeist, a ghost or spirit known for causing physical disturbances, could be the culprit. These entities, as often described in folklore and stories, are believed to be capable of not only moving objects, but also causing more direct harm, like pinching, biting, or even tripping people. So the question remains, what really caused the rock to move under Roger's foot? Whether it's a simple explanation or something more eerie, the incident surely captured the curiosity of many. Next, we have a clip of none other than our favorite legendary primate. The creature seems to believe it is hidden in the trees as it watches hikers pass by. The moment it realizes the camera is on it, the creature swiftly disappears into the brush. But before it goes, we can get a clear look at its long brown hair and ape-like face. Like many other videos of Bigfoot we feature here, the creature wants to avoid humans at all costs. This is likely why it has been so difficult to capture irrefutable evidence of one. They don't want to be found. These creatures are extremely intelligent. It has been theorized that they live in small communities and either bury or cremate their dead, making it nearly impossible to find a Bigfoot carcass to study. Now that's definitely an interesting train of thought. Let us know your ideas on the matter. Our next submission is a rather frightening still image. This image didn't come with any context, so we have to examine it and judge for ourselves what is going on here. We are either looking at three humans in elaborate costumes or some type of dark forest creatures. If they are human, are they simply posing for a scary photo? Or could we be looking at costumes from a pagan ritual? Or perhaps they are shamans dressed to invoke the spirit of the forest? But what if they aren't actually even human? Could these be guardians or spirits that inhabit the forest? And if they are, what are they doing exposing their existence to someone with a camera? Every major culture has some incarnation of a forest spirit. They might have different names across different folklores, but they all have similar characteristics. If these beings were simply myth, then why do so many ancient cultures speak of their existence? The story behind this image is difficult to put together without more information. Maybe these beasts are simple scarecrows meant to ward off predators. The theories are endless. Let us know what you think about this image down in the comment section. This next video has been making the rounds on social platforms, and it's one you've got to see to believe. It was captured by a security camera right inside the mayor's office in Armenia, Colombia. Now, as you watch this video, pay close attention to the security guard. This guy is not messing around. He's using his flashlight to scan the area meticulously, leaving no stone unturned. He's obviously on high alert, doing his job to keep the place secure. But then, out of absolutely nowhere, something you can't see hurls him against a wall with such force that the wall itself which isn't exactly built like a fortress, gets damaged. I mean, we're talking about an impact that makes you wince just watching it. Now, it gets weirder. As the security guard tries to get back on his feet, it looks like something invisible is pinning him down. It's as if he's wrestling with thin air, but he's not alone for long. 
two of his co-workers rush in to help him out, clearly shocked at what they're seeing. Afterward, the security guard is visibly shaken. And who can blame him? He's convinced that a ghost attacked him. But get this, the mayor, his boss, also believes that something supernatural is going on. He even said that this isn't the first time someone on his team has reported a paranormal experience in that office. So a lot of people who have watched this video are pretty convinced it's the real deal. That something otherworldly is happening. Now I want to know what you make of this footage. Is it a genuine glimpse into the supernatural? Or is there a more down-to-earth explanation? This video clip was uploaded to TikTok by a user. Seemingly captures a UFO gliding towards the moon. The footage has left many viewers scratching their heads, trying to decipher the nature of this unusual sighting. If you watch closely, you can catch the mesmerizing moment. Oh my God. What did I just video? Oh my God. Oh my gosh, what was that? <gasps> The individual who recorded the video was evidently taken aback. Their reaction suggests a deep sense of astonishment, given that the event caught on camera is profoundly mystifying. As the footage unfolds, we observe what appears to be an unidentified flying object, zooming past the moon, almost as if it had just left its surface. Just as the object passes the moon's perimeter, there seems to be a discharge of some kind, possibly material from the moon itself. At the time of discussing this, the original video had already garnered an astounding millions of views. This prompted thousands of curious commentators to weigh in, trying to decipher this incredible occurrence. Speculations are diverse. Some believe it might be a satellite, space debris, or even jokingly, Superman. One intriguing theory suggests it's an extraterrestrial vessel piloted by aliens, skimming the moon's surface before taking off, leaving behind a significant trail of exhaust. On the more skeptical side, there's a belief that the object might be nothing more than a regular airplane. Supporters of this theory argue that moonlight might be reflecting off the plane's exhaust, creating an illusion of a luminous trail along the moon's edge. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, what was that? Interestingly, Several other viewers came forward, stating they'd observed something eerily similar around the same time this clip was taken. The video has stirred such a wide range of opinions that the original poster felt the need to upload another video. In this follow-up, the uploader urged viewers to maintain respect for one another's viewpoints. I didn't mean to cause so much division. A lot of people are commenting and the, uh, they're just kind of arguing amongst themselves. Um, we don't have to fight. We don't know what it is. I think the common consensus is that it's an airplane. Okay, it's probably an airplane. The video is still super cool nonetheless. Does it really matter what it is? Irrespective of their beliefs about the footage, sadly, the controversy took a toll due to accusations and harsh criticisms from some, claiming the video was fabricated. She released a tongue in cheek response, admitting to faking the footage. Oh my God, what did I just video? Oh my God, oh my gosh, what was that? However, the truth remains elusive. No one can say with absolute certainty whether the original video showcases an authentic UFO or if it's merely a crafted ploy for views. Unless more substantial evidence emerges, this beguiling aircraft sighting will have to stand as one of the many unexplained mysteries of our time. Next up, we're diving headfirst into the heart of Indonesia's cursed river on a hair-raising adventure. This one's got everything you need for a good ghost video. Late nights, creepy monsters, and four brave friends ready to face the unknown. The locals have been whispering tales about this cursed river for ages. They say a mysterious creature lurks in the shadows, waiting to strike its next victim, but only under the cloak of darkness. And tonight, 
our daring squad is determined to uncover the truth behind the terrifying legend. <laughs> As they sail through the murky waters, the tension is thick enough to cut with a knife. Suddenly, out of the mist, they spot an eerie sight. An abandoned vessel just floating aimlessly. But you know what they say, curiosity can be a dangerous thing. One of the guys has an idea, a risky one mind you. He suggests tossing a bottle into the water just to see what happens. And boy did they get more than they bargained for. As the bottle hits the water, it's like a ripple effect of terror. From the depths of the river emerges a strange looking hand, with fingers so pointy they could give you goosebumps on sight. That ghastly hand snatches the bottle like it's nothing, and just as quick, it vanishes back into the darkness. Can you imagine the horror on their faces? But here's the kicker. We've got it all on video. That's right, these fearless friends captured the chilling encounter. And now we're left with a haunting question. What in the world is that creature lurking beneath the surface? Some kind of aquatic monster? Or perhaps a long lost spirit trapped in the cursed waters? Recently, a video surfaced on Instagram that captured a police officer seemingly conducting a routine check or inspection. Equipped with a flashlight, he cautiously navigated through the dimly lit area. But out of the shadows, an ominous scream caught his attention. The intensity of the sound was so unnerving that even the brave officer, accustomed to facing danger, quickly retreated to his vehicle. The scream was hauntingly sharp and had a demonic tone that gave even the most hardened listener the creeps. Many viewers commented with their theories about the source of this eerie sound. A popular belief was that it could be the cry of a banshee. In Irish folklore, a banshee is a female spirit known to wail or scream when a family member is about to pass away. Another potential explanation is that the scream might have come from a creature known as a Drekovac. This entity, often associated with South Slavic myths, can be heard mainly during the 12 days of Christmas, locally referred to as the unbaptized days in Serbo-Croatian, and in early spring when legends say demons are most active. If the Drakovac appears in the form of a child, it's believed to foretell a person's imminent death. However, when seen as an animal, it's said to predict an impending cattle disease. Given these tales and theories, one can't help but wonder, did the officer unwittingly stumble upon and hear the legendary cry signaling death? There's a fascinating short clip that's been making rounds on Instagram recently. In it, we see a man simply walking along a path, just minding his own business. Everything appears perfectly normal, until all of a sudden, a car drives past. And then, just like that, the man seems to vanish, almost as if he had never been there to begin with. It's as if he's been swallowed up by thin air, the clip has ignited a lot of speculation and chatter on social media. A number of people are convinced that the video has been tampered with or edited in some way to make the man disappear. Some suggest it's just a simple camera glitch. Maybe they theorize. The camera stopped recording momentarily when the car went by and started back up once the man had already moved out of frame. This could mean that the man didn't actually disappear, but simply walked out of the camera's view during that brief interruption. There's no shortage of theories and guesses about what really happened. But regardless of the explanation, the clip certainly has everyone talking and scratching their heads in wonder. Whether it's an optical illusion, a technical hiccup, or some crafty editing, it's become a bit of an internet sensation. And while we may never know the full truth, it's fun to speculate and join in on the conversation.
In a video clip recently uploaded to TikTok, viewers are treated to a lively pool party scene. At first glance, it looks like any other joyful gathering, with people laughing and splashing around. But on closer inspection, something strange stands out. I encourage you to give it another watch, especially towards the end. There's a moment that's captured the attention, and sometimes the apprehension of many. Right at the clip's conclusion, a young girl dressed in white seemingly disappears before our very eyes. Now, there's a chance she simply moved behind a pole or some other obstruction, just as the camera panned away. But that's not what's causing a stir. It's her overall appearance that has some viewers scratching their heads and others genuinely alarmed. This young girl has an astonishing aura about her. Her complexion is unusually pale, almost grayish, and she has strikingly dark eyes. Moreover, her dress doesn't quite fit the contemporary setting. Instead, it harkens back to a bygone era, making her presence even more jarring against the modern backdrop of a pool party. When you couple her clothes with her sudden and mysterious appearance, the result is an eerie moment that's hard to shake off. Several viewers have taken to the cons section, sharing their theories. Some suggest she might just be another partygoer who happened to be in vintage attire, but many are convinced that they've witnessed something supernatural. They argue that this could be a ghost caught on camera, and whether you're a skeptic or a believer, the mere idea is enough to give anyone a bit of a chill. Check out this trending video that's been making waves online. We've included this segment in our video to highlight the magic of optical illusions mixed with chance. These videos are important to dive into and give our viewers the chance to really take it apart. If we start to believe everything we see and don't have any standard for calling out obvious hoaxes or videos that are being passed off as mysteries, we won't have a leg to stand on. This case underscores that even baffling occurrences can often be rationally explained. Consider this bird seemingly hovering near a home security camera, moving without flapping its wings. It looks pretty crazy, yet it's an illusion. The bird is indeed flapping its wings, but they're matching the camera's frame rate, causing the bird to look like it's floating stationary. Typically, supposed encounters with Bigfoot are recorded using grainy cameras from far away, but we've struck gold this time. We've obtained a crystal clear high definition video from a bow hunting excursion in September 2023 just to the east of the Bee Park boundary. In this video, we see an expansive view of a thick forest. And amidst the greenery, there's a tall, dark figure, bulky and seemingly covered in a shaggy coat of black hair. At a glance, it could be mistaken for a gorilla, yet we're all aware that gorillas aren't native to these areas. This creature ambles off with an unhurried gait, apparently reaching out for something. After a bit, it spins around, and it becomes evident it's grasping a large limb which it smashes against a tree with such vigor that the sound bellows through the woodland. Then, the being flings the limb toward the camera before vanishing into the wild. This creature appears to have intelligence. It realized it was under surveillance and targeted the camera deliberately. Naturally, Bigfoot springs to mind, and this may well be the most unambiguous footage of it to date. Of course, skepticism suggests this could be a fake, merely someone costumed as Bigfoot, and initially I lean towards skepticism, but the final frames throw that into question. The face, seen from afar, looks incredibly authentic, not like a mask. If this truly is Bigfoot, the implications are monumental. The power and precision displayed in throwing objects are characteristics distinct to humans. No gorilla or other ape exhibits this level of skill. This might suggest Bigfoot shares a closer link to us than any known species. I'd love to know your thoughts on this epic video. My son and I have a few dirt bikes that we like to run through the woods when we can. But if I'm being honest, this video has given me a little pause.
Captured by a local during a ride in the woods, the footage begins with scenic views of the forest and a clear trail. But as the guys continued to ride their four-wheelers, a large and towering figure abruptly crossed in front of them. Shocked by the sudden appearance of this hairy creature, they immediately dipped off the trail and hightailed it back the way they came. Now, what in the heck was that? On closer inspection of the video, slowed down, a large figure emerges with characteristics similar to Bigfoot, displaying a humanoid stride and a powerful physique. Even though the encounter was fleeting, it'll definitely leave you wondering whether it truly was Bigfoot or merely someone pulling a stunt on the rider. I do have to say that the way that guy whips his four-wheeler to the left upon first sight of this beast, that looks genuine. It could have just been good timing and a good hoax, but I think little instances like this strengthen the case for validity. Let me know your thoughts. Full disclosure, I love these types of freaky mysteries. Okay, so this person on Reddit posted a really intriguing photo from their mom's baby shower. What makes the picture stand out is that right next to the mom, there's a frame showing what appears to be a blurry image of an old woman. The kicker? It's not a real photo. It looks more like a ghostly figure. What's even weirder is that the mom has absolutely no idea who this mysterious woman could be. Now, get this. The frame was actually supposed to contain a picture of a snowy landscape, not an old woman or a ghost or anything like that. The family is pretty certain that the appearance of the mysterious figure isn't the result of some technical glitch like double exposure. Why? Because the way the figure appears in the frame is just too precise to be a mistake. It's not like she's off to the side or anything. She's front and center. Of course, as you'd expect, the comment section went wild with speculation. One person suggested that the ghost could have been one of the guests at the baby shower. Another commenter threw out the idea that maybe the frame had been reused, and the image of the old woman was some sort of residual imprint from a previous picture. Some people even thought it could be a reflection of someone or something in the room. So, what's your take on this? It's a pretty strange snapshot, wouldn't you agree? Encountering Bigfoot or other legendary beasts is always quite disturbing, but coming across an entity so odd that you can't even name it escalates the fear and discomfort immensely. There's a video from Australia that captures something particularly odd. It's filmed at night and we see some shrubbery. What seems to be an animal is lurking in the high grass. At a glance, it might resemble a bear. But upon closer inspection, as it nears, its bizarre and unknown features are revealed. The creature, large in size, moves on all fours. As it gets closer to the individual filming, it seems to lunge. But the person behind the camera quickly dodges the advance. Some could speculate it's just an individual in a strange Bigfoot suit aiming to spook the guy filming. Yet, its gait is too atypical for a person. What do you guys think this entity might be? The local police in Evansville, Wyoming are currently investigating an unusual discovery near Veterans Bridge. They found some mysterious, large footprints in the mud and decided to set up a trail camera in hopes of finding out what creature these prints might belong to. Initially, they thought a mountain lion could be the culprit, especially given that the area is known for its wildlife. Over time, the camera captured a variety of animals wandering by. They saw raccoons, turkeys, a skunk, a fox, and even a deer. But what really caught everyone's attention was an unexpected figure that appeared on camera a human-like shape dressed in white athletic wear. What made it even more mysterious was that the face of this figure seemed to be burnt or disfigured in some way. And let's not forget the unusually long hands and pointy fingers. There was even a close-up shot of the creature's face, which is difficult to describe but definitely doesn't look human. People who've seen the video footage are split on what it could be. Some are skeptical, thinking it might be someone playing a prank. 
They argue that someone might have found out about the trail camera and decided to mess with everyone by wearing a mask or some sort of disguise. On the other side of the coin, you have those who believe in the paranormal. They're convinced that this could very well be a ghost or some other supernatural entity. So, the question remains, what do you think this mysterious creature could be? Blackbird State Forest is a sprawling 6,000-acre preserve in Delaware, straddling both Newcastle and Kent counties just north of the town of Smyrna. Boasting 10 distinct tracts of land, this forest offers over 40 miles of trails that are accessible to the public throughout the year. People flock here to walk, hike, run, cycle, and go horseback riding. In addition to these outdoor activities, the forest allows hunting, fishing, picnicking, and even some primitive camping. The forest's long-term management plans aim to balance timber production with wildlife habitat conservation, outdoor recreation, soil and water protection, as well as the safeguarding of wetlands and endangered species. Public education is also a key focus, but Blackbird State Forest has a more somber history too. On September 20th, 1986, a young researcher named Jane Pritchard from the University of Maryland visited the forest to study wild hog peanut plants. Tragically, her research trip took a horrific turn. Jane was murdered, and her partially unclothed body was found in a secluded area of the trail. Adding to the forest's eerie reputation, a Redditor recently shared a video clip of a nighttime scene at one of the campsites. The area appears entirely deserted. As the camera pans around, a pair of eyes suddenly become visible, seemingly watching from the dark. This particular site, known as Campsite B08, is frequented by hunters and is quite remote, situated far from other camping areas and offering a sense of isolation. Over the years, campers have reported an unsettling feeling of being watched while in the forest. Furthermore, the area was once home to the Lenape Native American tribe, and there have been reports of a ghostly woman wandering the trails after dark. So the question that looms, could the eyes captured in that nighttime video clip belong to the mysterious creature rumored to be watching campers in the dark? Mountain biker Jose usually posts videos on TikTok that showcase his favorite biking trails, crazy stunts, and of course, just the sheer joy of riding. But one video turned out to be quite different than what he's used to sharing. While he and his buddies were out on a night ride, their GoPro cameras rolling, they thought it was just another routine descent down the mountain. Everything seemed totally normal. Or at least, that's what they thought at the time. Maybe it was the adrenaline pumping through their veins, making everything else fade into the background. But they completely missed something, or someone, strange on the trail that night. It was only when they were reviewing the footage that they saw it. A dark, almost semi-transparent figure standing right there on the path, mere inches away from them as they zoomed by. This mysterious figure wasn't just standing there, it looked eerie. Dressed in a long, dark robe and sporting long hair that partly obscured its face, the figure was hard to describe. What stood out the most were its incredibly dark, large eyes, and a face so pale it was almost ghostly. Jose and his friends are still scratching their heads, trying to figure out what exactly they captured on camera. Was it a trick of the light? A person? or something more supernatural. They can't explain it. What's your take on this mysterious entity? On April 23, 2006, police arrested a man who appeared to be in his late 20s or early 30s for behaving suspiciously. The man, who looked utterly bewildered, kept asking what year it was. He introduced himself as Sergei Ponomarenko and claimed that just a few moments ago, he was living in the year 1958. 
Naturally, the police were skeptical and asked for identification. The moment Sergei handed over his ID, the officers were stunned. His identification was the kind issued to citizens during the era of the Soviet Union, a state that dissolved in 1991 when Ukraine gained its independence. His ID was, at the very least, 15 years outdated. According to Sergei, the last memory he had was of walking through Kiev with his fiancée, Valentina Kurish. The couple had paused to take a photo using Sergei's vintage camera when he spotted something peculiar in the sky. He described the mysterious object as bell-shaped and moving erratically. Curious. He tried to snap a picture of it, and the next thing he knew, he was in the year 2006. Because Sergei's camera was an antique, the film couldn't be developed using modern techniques. A photography expert was brought in to handle the old film. To everyone's astonishment, the film wasn't just old. It was a specific type that had been discontinued in the 1970s. Nonetheless, it was in pristine condition. When the photos were finally developed, they showed scenes of Kaya from the 1950s. An image of a woman who appeared to be around the same age as Sergei, and a shot of Sergei himself wearing the same clothes he had on during his police interview. The kicker. There was a photograph of a bell-shaped UFO, precisely as he had described. The police managed to locate a photograph of Sergei's fiancée, Valentina Krish, and went to interview her. They found Valentina, now an elderly woman in her 70s. She confirmed that her fiancée, Sergei Ponomarenko, had indeed gone missing for a few days back in 1958. Recently, a YouTuber named Joe Scott delved into this perplexing tale and found some inconsistencies. For instance, he pointed out that the buildings in the background of Sergei's future photograph appeared to be duplicated or possibly cloned. Upon further research, he found that they originated from a Ukrainian TV show called Aliens. This show even had a disclaimer stating, All scene restorations are based on the statements of witnesses. There is no conclusive evidence to prove the existence of aliens. So, what do you think? Is Sergei's story an astonishing truth? Or just a masterfully executed hoax? A Reddit user shared a video that he alleges shows a Bigfoot near his property. Captured by his outdoor security camera, the footage shows a fence, and beyond it, a thickly wooded area. Initially, something stirs within the trees, vaguely visible. It seems to cautiously peek from behind a trunk before boldly stepping into full view presenting a tall, humanoid shape draped in dark fur, reminiscent of Bigfoot. The unsettling part of the footage is the creature's behavior. It stands still, as though it's observing the house, possibly looking for someone or something within. Now, if I were in the homeowner's shoes, I'd seriously think about some other precautions. I mean, that flimsy metal fence isn't going to keep a beast of that size out, regardless of whether that is Bigfoot or not. When this particular video hit the internet, it left everyone astonished and sparked a variety of theories about the nature of this crazy being. The person who filmed it claimed to have come across this peculiar creature deceased on the ground during his routine morning walk. Judging by the state of the body which had begun to decay, it appeared to have been lying there for some time. For some viewers, the remains resembled an alien. For others, an object involved in witchcraft perhaps a witch's doll, and many suggested it looked like the unfortunate remains of an animal's unborn young that had met an untimely end. No satisfactory explanation has ever surfaced. So as you can imagine, the intrigue surrounding the video presses on. This next video is pretty creepy. You need a sharp eye to catch the petrifying truth hidden within its frames. Get ready to analyze every moment, because this one will leave you questioning everything. Meet Connor, just your average guy coming home late, thinking it's a normal night. But little does he know, something eerie is unfolding right behind him. As he stops in his tracks, you can see it in his eyes. He senses something's off. And he's not wrong. Who's that? 
he checks over his shoulder as if he's got that feeling someone or something is lurking in the shadows. He brushes it off, fumbling with his keys in his hand. And you can tell his adrenaline is pumping and he's uneasy. As he's about to open his front door, curiosity gets the best of him and he looks back once more. I mean, can you blame him? But here's the creepy twist. The street's as empty as can be. There isn't a soul in sight, yet he can't shake that feeling of being watched. But you know what they say. Sometimes the things you can't see are the things you should fear the most. When Connor finally reviews the CCTV footage, his blood runs cold. There, just at the front of his yard, is a dark and shadowy figure like something straight out of a horror movie. Now, like me, you might be wondering, where did this ghostly apparition come from? And more importantly, why was it even following Connor on that ominous night? Could it be a lost soul, a spirit, or something else? A camera glitch? Let me know what you think. We've got a video posted online by Zoe all the way from Perth, Australia. Now Zoe's no ordinary nurse. She's a night shift nurse at a hospital and she's got quite the story to share. In this eerie hospital, there's a room that creeps everyone out that works there. It doesn't discriminate to doctors, nurses, and all staff alike are freaked out. People claim they've seen chairs moving on their own and the temperature takes a very noticeable drop in that exact area. But the real shocker comes when Zoe and her colleagues decide to investigate the strange occurrences. They gather around to watch the security footage, and what they see will make your heart skip a beat. The lights start to flicker, but that's not all. A dark figure begins to emerge from the shadows, going back and forth in a haunting pattern. And as if that wasn't creepy enough, this mysterious figure blocks the camera view, leaving them in the dark. What could this dark entity be? And why is it haunting this hospital room? Is it a lost soul, trapped between this world and the next seeking solace? Or could it be something far more dangerous, with sinister intentions? <laughs> 